the actual uh, aortic valve area is calculated on the principle of continuity equation so here your continuity equation runs on the principle that wherever there is a obstruction the velocity area integral distal to the obstruction is equal to the velocity area integral proximal to the obstruction so here velocity into area is equal to velocity into area distal to the or the at the obstruction so here we have want to calculate the area at the level of obstruction that is aortic valve stenosis so area at the level of obstruction will become area at the level before obstruction that we can calculate that is in the lvot just put the in the plaques you zoom it and put the uh, measure the uh, length of the lvot that is from the basal septum to the anterior most anterior uh, mitral leaflet in the mid cisto that will give you the uh, area of the lvot it is uh, difficulty is that it we, we consider it as a circular because it is becoming cylindrical you are calculating this area by just the da diameter so it will become a uh, circular thing but it actually is a elliptical one so that's is where the difference is and then you calculate the v1 by v2 that is velocity before the uh, convergence that is at the velocity at the lv vot divided by velocity at the aortic valve stenosis so v1 divided by v2 so aortic valve area or the aortic stenosis valve area is calculated as area at the lvot multiplied by velocity at the lvot divided by velocity at the aortic stenosis that is velocity aortic area at the aortic stenosis into aorta at the aortic valve uh, velocity area at the aortic stenosis is equal to uh, area at the lvot into area at velocity at the lvot so we get the v2 down there and we will make it a2 is equal to a1 into v1 by v2 that's how we calculate continuity equation